waited 10 years for the game, avoiding any and all walkthrough videos, reviews, spoilers and etc. And this disgusting excuse of reports ruined every single ounce of excitement I have for the game. DISAPPOINTED! The Last of Us Part 1 was one of the most anticipated games for PC gamers, but it was delayed by a few weeks in February. Naughty Dog, the developer of the game, promised that the delay would allow them to ensure that the PC version of the game would be in the best possible shape and would meet the standards of both the players and themselves. However, things didn't go as planned as the PC version of the game received a mostly negative rating on Steam due to various technical issues. Players complained of inconsistent frames frame rates, crashes, shattering, long load times, and poor optimization. This was disappointing news for the fans who had been eagerly waiting for the game's PC debut. Naughty Dog soon released a statement on Twitter acknowledging the issues with the PC port of The Last of Us Part 1 and confirming that patches are in the works. They assured the players that they were working hard to address the technical issues and improve the game's performance. Sony, the publisher of the game, has released several PC ports over the past two years, including Horizon Zero Dawn, Days Gone, God of War, and Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, with most of them launching in good condition. Fans hoped that Naughty Dog would be able to fix the issues with The Last of Us Part 1 and deliver a PC version that would meet their expectations, but unfortunately we're not living in a fairy tale. Nintendo has released a 10-minute gameplay video of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, showcasing new abilities, enemies, and features. The video highlights Link's new recall ability, which allows him to rewind time as well as the new weapon fusing mechanic, where players can combine items to create new weapons and vehicles. The ascent ability also lets Link climb surfaces easily. Additionally, the trailer confirms the release of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED, which will launch on April 28th, ahead of the game's release on May 12th. Multiverses is shutting down its open beta for at least six months ahead of the game's full launch in early 2024. The game will be removed from digital stores on April 4, and servers will be shut down on June 25. However, if you have previously downloaded the game, you can still reinstall it for limited offline access. The reason for the temporary shutdown is that the developers want to focus on new characters, maps and modes, updated netcode, and more matchmaking improvements. Refunds will not be available as a result of the open beta closure. The game had previously won Best Fighting Game at the Game Awards last year, and it was reviewed by many outlets as if it were a proper release. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button so it will be recommended to more people. Thanks! Relic has released Operation Sapphire Jackal, the first major update for Company of Heroes 3, which includes a challenger system that lets you earn merits by completing daily and weekly tasks. These merits can then be spent on a variety of in-game cosmetic upgrades, including unit skins that can be used in both single-player and multiplayer modes. In addition to the new challenges system, the update also includes over 1300 bug fixes, changes and improvements. While the update has been generally well received by the community, players are still hoping for replays and ranked multiplayer in a future update. Minecraft is set to get a Dungeons & Dragons DLC pack that will allow players to explore iconic locations within the Forgotten Realms and play as one of four classes. Paladin Barbarian, Wizard, and Rogue. The DLC will include D&D mechanics, such as rolling 20-sided dice and certain combat mechanics, as well as each class having default attacks and special skills that have cooldowns. The adventure can be played alone or with a co-op adventuring party, and will include full voice acting and lots of lore references. The DLC is set to be released sometime this spring. Wanna get more gaming news? Subscribe and see you tomorrow!